rotation. A rotation turns a figure a given number of degrees around a point. That point is called the center of rotation. A figure can be rotated clockwise, which is the way of the clock, the direction of the clock. How does a clock rotate? This direction. So rotating to the right is clockwise. A figure can also be rotated counterclockwise. That is not, counter means not the way of the clock. So not clockwise, which means going, rotating to the left. Take a look at this figure, this concave polygon. I'm going to rotate it about that center of rotation point C. I'm going to move this point and notice as I rotate it counterclockwise, not the way of the clock, the degrees are increasing. And when it's turned 90 degrees, it shows that right angle and notice that it's turned to its side. If I continue to rotate it, when it gets to 180 degrees, it looks like it's rotated completely turned around. So it's facing the opposite direction. Rotating it to 170 degrees is kind of like the 90 degree turn if I were to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And if I complete the circle and rotate it all the way back to where it started, notice it's going to be approaching 360 degrees. Right now it says 359 because when I get back to start, oh, there's the 360. It shows zero again. Label the rotations shown below using triangle A as the pre-image. So here's triangle A. How is triangle B rotated from triangle A? So if we take this figure and we rotate it counterclockwise, notice that when I turn it on its side, this looks like where figure B was. In fact, I'm going to move this out of the way so that we can see, yep, this looks exactly like figure B. So figure B is a 90 degree because it's turned on its side. Figure B is a 90 degree because it's turned on its side. Counterclockwise rotation, 90 degree counterclockwise for figure B. Figure C, if I rotate from A, because it gets completely turned around, we'll make a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. And then if I go 90 plus 90 plus 90 again, getting all the way to this quadrant, this will be a 270, 270 degree counter clockwise rotation. But that's not the only way I could have come up with these figures. What if I rotated clockwise? Let's take a look again at the original figure. Let's rotate it back to start, so A is where it began. And instead of counterclockwise, if I go clockwise one quarter of a turn, that's where figure D is. Notice figure A looks just like figure D after rotating to the right. So I could have also called this, if I go this way, A 90 degree clockwise rotation. A figure has point symmetry when the pre-image and image match after a rotation of 180 degrees through a point in the center. Another way to think about it 
Does it look the exact same upside down? Remember that that's what a rotation of 180 degrees is, turning it completely upside down. Well, let's take a look. Sometimes we actually have to physically turn the object upside down. If I rotate this upside down, does it look the same as how it started? Well, I'm going to move that figure out of the way. And yes, this one does look exactly the same as how it started. So this one does have point symmetry. How about this playing card? If I rotate this 180 degrees or upside down, does it look the same as how it started? This one also does. So this playing card has point symmetry. How about this letter H? I rotate it 180 degrees. It looks exactly the same. So this also has point symmetry. How about the letter T? I rotate it 180 degrees. Does that look exactly the same as how it started? This one does not. So this one does not have point symmetry.